Hi boys and girls, today we are going to read chapter 4 from The Killer Hairdo and Other Urban Legends. This is called The Killer Prom Dress. This dress was on sale, but it was no bargain. Chapter 4, The Killer Prom Dress. A girl looked forward to her senior prom. She had a date all her friends were going to. There was just one problem. She did not have a dress to wear. For days she shopped for a dress online. She shopped at the mall too. She found a few dresses she liked, but they cost too much money. Then, a friend told her about a thrift shop. It had a prom dress for sale. They were used, but they looked brand new, and they were very cheap. The girl went to the shop. Right away, she saw a dress she loved. It was red satin. It fit perfectly, and the color looked great on her. There was one problem, though. The dress smelled weird. The girl talked to the shop clerk. The clerk shrugged. She thought it was no big deal. I am sure the dress was dry clean, she said. You probably just smell the cleaning stuff. The girl had no more time to shop, so she brought the red dress. She sprayed it with perfume. She hoped that would hide the smell. On prom night, the girl looked great. At first, she felt great, too. She danced to every song. Then she began to feel dizzy. She could smell a weird odor again. Now the girl felt really sick. Suddenly, she fell over. Her friends rushed to her side. A teacher called an ambulance. But it was too late. The girl was dead. My goodness. Soon the police came. The girl's death was a mystery. They had to investigate. What did they find? The girl had been poisoned. The poison was in her dress. The police went to the thrift, thrift shop. They talked to the owner. This is what they learned. The owner brought, bought the dress from a man. The man worked in a funeral home. He stole the dress off of a dead body. What was the smell? It was the deadly embalming fluid. That is what killed the girl. So what is embalming fluid? Okay, it's a mix of stuff that gets put into dead bodies and it helps to keep the body from rotting before it is buried. Okay, can you die from wearing clothes soaked in it? Let's just say it has not happened. Uh, if you did wear clothes in it, you would probably um, hear about it in the news. Okay, so this legend reflects our fear of death and dead bodies. And it warns us about what might happen um, if you anger the dead. So really just let the dead rest. And also, we can kind of learn to um, you know, not try and mask or hide what uh, negative things are happening, right? And kind of not tolerate those, you know, I wouldn't wear a smelly dress. I hope you wouldn't either. All right, boys and girls, go ahead and take a, uh, some time to answer their questions on the Google form and then submit this assignment so I can know to check for it. Thanks so much. Have a great day.